All right, now we're off to our winter scene. All right, I penciled this ahead of time so that we can jump right into the coloring. If you want your lines to look fairly straight, just don't stress, don't tense, just relax and breathe. And also, as you're running through the outline, keep in mind that I'm okay even if this is looking a little bit wavy. That's all right. And you just run through the outline and that impression that we left behind after erasing. Now, remember, this side is the darkest, so we're going to color this with a lot of pressure. But, yep, let's just run through it in this angle. Okay, so that's our cabin. And uh, we need to color the other elements that would need to be in this color. So we have a fence here. We'll just color them like that. It's okay if we don't fill them all in. We don't fully saturate it with color because we want it to look like this wood grain showing and also maybe some snow stuck to it. So now we're going to run through the fence like that. Now, oops! <laughs> Sometimes get carried away. And there's an even, I use a different pencil to really rub it off. Um, it's this one. Oh, uh, though, it's okay. It won't be that obvious once we lay in the, the border. This is an eraser pencil by Koinor. Anyway, so that's our fence on that side. Let's draw in the fence on this side. Let's put the fence, the fence post there. Alright, she's in orange color, but we're gonna just shade her in a silhouette because she's against the sun. Put his nose there, indicate his nose, his hood. This is also against the sun, so we'll just color that in as well. And there. We can actually put a highlight on the little wolf here. Indication that she is actually red orange in color, but leave her mostly in the shade like that. Another one there. As we go further, farther, and higher up, the trees would look smaller and would have less strokes. Mm -hmm. Make them look like one big happy family. Now, we really need this to be really sharp. It, this is why it's good to have two, two pencils of each color, so you don't have to keep sharpening it. 
Okay, very distant trees. Tiny, tiny trees. Just, just an indication that we're all the way here. Okay. Let's see what we're gonna do with this foreground. I don't feel like covering it all in blue, so I'll just highlight it. Let's see this little marking that I did here. Just cut, cut away. Let's pretend that is the ground peeking through. So we'll color that in and hatching. And just like that. And the rest is still snow. I think I want to put some, a third line in the fence here in the middle. I mean, why would you have such a wide space in between? <laughs> the face purpose of the fence. Okay. That looks better. Now, oh yeah, we'll add in our shadow for the post. Post needs some shadows. That and then just run very light lines for the fence. Now, yeah, probably just run the shadows like that. Just like that. And then I think I'll just recreate these twigs here. Let's color in the sky. So the sunset sky. So this is our sun here. Somewhere there. We'll start off with the yellow. Uh, the yellow orange or the orange orange and then the red orange and then pink and ultimately paints gray. And then it would radiate to this red orange color. Um, coloring with the side of the pencil but very lightly 